Okay guys, um, this is actually going to be a really simple one. So let's just take a quick look at what we're seeing on the screen. What I want you to pay attention to here is his eyes and how they are turning on and off. So we can see that the loop cycle is happening and we've got his eyes switching out. So they're switching from open and we can see that they're looping and then they're closed. So how does this work? Um, really simply, uh, any layer using uh, Critter's open, um, using Critter's animation curves, um, basically you can use the opacity and you can keyframe opacity. So if we just come through here and we take a quick look, we can see that one, like this one here where it's open, uh, we can see right now up here, it's key framed at zero, it's opacity. And then we can see that it changes at the next frame, which is frame 80 and it's back to 100. So just to see where that rep is represented here on the graph in the animation curves, we can see here that at frame 79, if we follow this little line across, we can see it's zero. So our keyframe set it at zero. So we've got opacity selected. And then if we move across to 80, then we can see we draw a line across and we can see where it intersects and we can see that it's at 100. So when we move from one layer to the next, we can see that the frame is switching out. Now, why wouldn't you just do this frame by frame? Right? Like where's, where's the benefit in working this way? Like, you know, we can, we, we can easily see all these other animation happening and it's happening frame by frame. So how this works is that what we're doing is we're creating a loop cycle and then we're saying to that loop cycle on this particular layer, um, I just want you to have your eyes open. And so we can turn those eyes on and off at any point that we need to. And um, so instead of doing it at a frame by frame level, what we can do is we can add different eye expressions at different levels. And instead of managing that information in the timeline here, we can do it here in the animation curve just by turning on and off the opacity, or I should say lowering the opacity and then increasing the opacity. So basically that's how you keyframe opacity with these two little buttons. So it's pretty simple. So if we watch this guy play back again, you can see the eyes are open. And when he comes back around, they're closed and then they open again. And that's animating opacity in Critter.